Hi brothers and sisters, it's Triss. Um, I've been wanting to do this one for a while because um, it's such an important thing for people to realise that there really is power in prayer and that it's worth doing, you know. And so if you look at scripture all over the place, um, from Ephesians to Timothy to Jesus talking himself, he, he every everybody, Paul and Jesus especially, talk about praying all the time is really important. And what that means I'll probably go into in a different video, but prayer, to be continually in prayer is the life of a Christian really. Um, so why is it so powerful? Why is it so important? Well, you can change God's mind. I know some people will go, that's literally ridiculous. God knows everything and he knows everything we need before we even say it and whatever. And this this whole kind of idea of predestination and um, whatever. But if you look at Exodus 32 verses 11 to 14, it, you'll see that God is really angry with Israel and... Uh, Moses steps in and, and does what, what's called intercession, which is making petitions on behalf of someone um, to God so that God would have mercy on them and uh, not carry out his righteous wrath, basically. And so if you have a prodigal son or daughter or maybe you're praying for your dad or mother or grandfather, whatever, because they're away from the Lord and they're sinning or whatever, you can intercede and essentially change God's mind. Um, God righteously has the, has the ability to pour his wrath on anybody he wants and hand them over to Satan, especially if they deny the Son. Um, but someone who does know God, who steps in the gap, can bring spiritual life and mercy into a situation where perhaps it's not going to happen otherwise, uh, as in the case with um, Moses and Israel there. So... That's a powerful thing. You can change the mind of the all-powerful creator uh, to withhold his wrath or to ask for his mercy and grace and forgiveness in a situation, whatever, you know. And leading on from that is this whole idea about healing and deliverance. Um, the power of prayer. I mean, there's different ways of praying and one of those ways is, or two of those ways is to simply pray for someone's ailment or um, disease or whatever and see them get healed you know and an, another type of prayer is deliverance um, from demons from evil spirits um, and bringing people into a knowledge of the truth and um, there are two different types of prayer to intercession I suppose but um, just as powerful and we are called as Christians to do that. Um, prayer can also be a type of worship, we're thinking of God, you know, and we are essentially asking him into our lives and to be a part of what we're doing and to guide us and show us and whatever and the reciprocation of that is worship, you know, uh, and prayer can just simply be adoring God. Um, and there's power in that because God loves it when we praise him. You know, everybody loves, loves it when people praise them. <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a human thing as well to love the praise of other people. Um, and so for the divine being of the universe who, who seeks our, uh, reciprocated love, um, he gives us the love to be able to love him, but when we reciprocate that, it worships him and um, it's a very powerful part of prayer. Uh, prayer can be a pacifier against our enemies. Um, 
you know, you can pray for your enemies and bless them. And what actually happens is, is that it's a, a combatant against bitterness and unforgiveness. And, uh, I mean, we see it in Luke 6, um, where Jesus tells us to pray and, and bless our en pray for and bless our enemies. And partly the reason isn't, it isn't just for them, but it's for you, you know. Um, it edifies you to do such a thing. And so there's a power in prayer of release and healing there um, for the person who does the praying. We can pray to receive the Holy Spirit. Um, it's something that you have to pray for in order to receive. Uh, there, anybody who heard my testimony where I posted it a couple of days ago uh, knows that God gave me his Holy Spirit but I had prayed a prayer however flawed it was where I, I said reveal yourself or I will kill myself I, I mean I gave God a uh, an ultimatum which is not good it's un it was unrighteous i know it was unrighteous but, but i had prayed a prayer and he did reveal himself and he gave me his holy spirit um but you can actively and positively pray for the holy spirit to come into your life and with that comes power uh, obviously the gifts and miracles that come from having the holy spirit in you uh brings a power into your life um, where you'll see healing and deliverance and prayers answered basically so so that's a good thing we can also glorify the word of god which is it goes hand in hand with worship really um, prayer speaking um, prophetically scriptures into existence you know um, in order to edify and um encourage um it glorifies god and it glorifies the word of god who is jesus um, but also the bible is called the word of god and it it confirms it as an authority and that is a type of prayer using scripture to prophetically enter into some kind of um i suppose covenant with god that you agree that his word is all powerful and the highest form of authority and that you are speaking it into your situation or you're speaking it into someone else's situation that edifies them and brings true life into the situation and uh, the, the final thing that I thought of and probably one of the main reasons which goes hand in hand with deliverance of course but uh, another video I did was intercession in the the law of dominion and um, fighting against the spiritual wickedness in high places you can't do that without prayer um, prayer is the way that we commune with god's spirit in order to see results um, not just within um, people to do with healing and to do with personal demons coming out of them but to do with the overarching principalities and powers that control a certain area or a certain sphere of existence and control um, the puppets the antichrist puppets who are at their bidding you can pray for those people and you can also pray against those spirits that have dominion over those people and um, it's, a, it's a whole new um, uh, it is a whole other type of prayer it is intercession um, and it is for people, but it's also warring prayer against evil spirits uh, in a different way to deliverance. It's it's praying over situations like, for example, you might pray for the situation in the Middle East or, or um, I don't know, about a, an agenda. Um, for example, the this whole transgender um movement that's going on at the moment which you know i i just can't see why anybody would back that um and and call it sane but i can't do anything as a as a personal um you know just just one man fighting against a, a essentially a whole nation that's agreeing with this but um 
I can pray to God and ask for his righteousness and there is a power in that and there is the power of change in that and we can ask for him to for his will to be done so that's about it um there there's probably more but I just wanted to explain how prayer is so powerful and how um we should be praying at all times in the various different factions that prayer comes in um, and it's our duty as believers to at least specialize in a certain type of prayer, whether you're a deliverance minister or you're praying for healing or you're an intercessor or you're a worshiper or all of them, you know, I, I would say all of them is important. But yeah, essentially, that's um, that's why I think it's a good thing that we get involved in um, so I hope this has edified you and thank you for listening.